We had the tractor out earlier and we got the garden tilled, but I'm just gonna go through and see if there's any more weeds or rocks or anything, kind of um, smooth the soil out. And the chickens out, they love to go through the newly tilled soil, looking for bugs and weeds and stuff. So we'll just kind of enjoy a nice day out in the sun and then I'm going to get some seeds planted. This garden is on the other side of the house in the barn, away from the coop, so the chickens generally don't wander down here on their own, so I have to bring them down when I want them to work the garden, but that means that this garden is pretty safe from them. I've got corn. Corn takes um, almost 100 days, which is about as long as our growing season is. So that's one of the first things that I like to get in as soon as the ground gets warm enough. We probably won't have any corn by 4th of July this year, but at least I can get it started. I'm also gonna plant some melons and squash, cucumbers, things like that. The um, melons and squash, pumpkins, take almost our entire growing season. So those we won't be harvesting until probably right before our first frost in the fall. But I'm also gonna plant radishes and spinach and some lettuce, and those are ready in just a couple of weeks. I do have a separate garden that is completely enclosed from the chickens, but also from the deer and raccoons and wild turkeys. Some of the things that they tend to eat more, like peas or tomatoes, peppers, um, the lettuces I do plant inside the covered garden, but I find that the, the potatoes and um, beets and radishes and things that grow underground generally don't have to worry about deer or um, the bunnies eating. They might nibble on the, the greens, but for the most part I don't worry about fencing that stuff in. All right, that looks good. I'm going to grab some mint and then go inside and wash my hands and get started on some ice cream. Your girls deserve the best. When feeding your chickens Blue Seal Home Fresh poultry products, 